Okay, so again, this has the brushed uh, motor in it. As you can tell, tried and true. Inter internally air-cooled with the little fan built into it. It's brushed. It's torquey. Here's what you get with brushed motors over a standard sensorless brushless motor, which is probably 95% of the market. A brushless sensorless motor is not very linear in the low RPM, meaning that it's kind of almost on or off. And sometimes it might cog a little bit is the term. It's because the speed controller doesn't know the position of the motor. Um, now, if you have a censored setup, that's then that problem solved. That's why in rock crawlers, my personal favorite is the two in one hobby wing combo brushless censored internally ESC controlled uh, motor because it's compact. You reduce weight uh, that sprung, which is what I like. Um, it's powerful. It's super silky down low, but brushed is always going to be like that because of the um, direct contact excitation. So it does excitation through the little brushes of the comm itself. And so therefore the amount of control you have, um, it's just way easier. Um, it's a great cheap, easy solution for just about anybody if you're looking on a budget so brushed especially like touring car like box stock touring car stuff it's just way better um because normally if you make them too much faster than 25 30 miles an hour most of those little touring cars are just they're out of control anyway at that speed i mean to some degree like a serpent maybe not right it's like glued to the ground like a slot car i'm talking about like a box stock like a tamaya tto2 Great class to run, and if you want the best performance out of it, a 60 amp speed controller with like a brushed motor is just about perfect. I know I'm going off in the weeds on something else here, but I, I, I apologize. I have a point of saying that I'm overemphasizing that brushed motors are still fine, especially with when you run them with uh, lithium polymer technology. Um, very, very enjoyable.